Hi, I thought it's time to make a video about secondary gains of illness. Now, um, secondary gains are basically a conscious or unconscious benefit that we feel on some level, often deeply unconscious, that we receive through experiencing a certain set of symptoms or illness or condition. Um, now, um, I, pretend, I mainly work in the area of chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, and I know firsthand from experience of chronic fatigue myself really deeply and at times not being able to get out of bed and not being able to get out of the house. You know, why on earth would any part of me want to experience that symptoms, that those symptoms? And I, I totally get it if you're in that place now, like you're, you know, this, this video might trigger you because it's like, no, there's no part of me that's benefiting from this experience. I just want it to go. I hate it. You know, I don't know why I have it, but you know, it's, there's definitely no conscious, unconscious or unconscious benefit from me having symptoms. Now, but sometimes when you go a bit deeper, you might discover that actually is. So um, on some level, we can feel that perhaps that, that the illness is protecting us. So if we've often went before an illness, we've experienced quite a lot of stress, often quite a lot of trauma as well. And it's built up in our system and it's created the, this illness. And um, you know, the illness could be like a way of getting out of our previous life and getting us on a path that's more authentic for us and, and you know, what we, what we really want from our life. Um, so in that way, it's like the illness in a way is a, is a teacher and, and it can be kind of helping us to step back from something that we don't want. So we can be getting some kind of unconscious benefits from it. And many people who've gone through an illness like chronic fatigue and come out the other side have often learned so much along the way and can ultimately be grateful for how it's taught them but the, the secondary gains can get in the way in terms of lots of different aspects and I mean the secondary gains unconscious blocks they're quite sort of similar but if like for example I have clients who think oh no but if I get well I'm going to have to go back to being that crazy busy self always doing something for someone else always being busy always trying to achieve and I don't want that I found some inner peace with where I am now I don't I don't want that life so that can be a block to getting well. There can be so many different blocks. It can be as well that like we, we get now in a safe place where we're actually getting quite a lot of attention and nurturing from those around us and maybe we didn't get enough as a child and or even as a child maybe we only got nurturing attention when we were sick. So it, again that can be a, a secondary gain that we can get more nurturing potentially or, or at least you know that that could be something that's going on. Um, you know, if, if we have an inherent belief that the world's not a safe place from underlying trauma, you know, which would be a natural belief to, to create if you've had some traumatic experiences in, in life, then a secondary gain of illness could be that, you know, it means we don't have to engage with life. We don't have to engage with the world that, that we're seeing as a scary place. Um, so, there's, so there's many different ways we can look at secondary gains and unconscious blocks to healing. But I just thought I'd start to start the conversation really and highlight some of them um you know when i think back to my own healing journey i had underlying trauma i had underlying confidence issues um you know there are many reasons why like i feel like an illness like chronic fatigue kind of came into my life you know and it came to teach me many things and to make me do some deep growth work and some deep soul searching and some deep healing that otherwise i wouldn't have done um and um and yeah and, and i and i had an unconscious block of that i had to keep the peace um no matter what even if it cost my me my health so um in a way the symptoms were a way of keeping me small and stopping me from expressing my authentic feelings and dealing with the potential conflict so a secondary gain could be that like it's keeping me away from difficult potential difficult situations where i might have to address things that might might bring up some conflict so so there can be lots of different secondary gains that can come from from illness um and um but also you know we can overcome them they're blocks that we can overcome we can work on them with things like emotional freedom technique and nlp techniques you know you can have coaching to support you through them um and just reminding your unconscious mind of whatever it needs to know that i am safe in the world um you know it's uh, updating your younger parts about who you are now from your adult self perspective from your wise self perspective and evolving those parts that are maybe acting out of old memories and old stuff old emotions 
and finding a way to get relief and to clear the emotional you know what's what's held there kind of perpetuating those kind of patterns um and secondary gains we can bring relief and healing and grow through them and um if you're a woman you might want to join our women's wellness circle community and if you're already in our community then um, i hope this video has been helpful for you as well and the uh, women's wellness circle you can find out more at womenswellnesscircle.com and i'm francis goodall and you can find out more about my work at francisgoodall.com okay thank you for listening today bye much love to you